Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. And today is going to be the final bit of restoration on this vintage Action Man Space Ranger Solar Hurricane. Now, if you've watched my channel over the last year, you'll have seen me uh, get this sort of back up and running. I was very kindly donated it by Simon and it was a, a sort of grail toy of mine. I'd had this as a child and I really wanted to get a, sort of one back in my collection. And I managed to get it looking really quite nice after a sort of a fair amount of work. But there was one piece that I was still missing and that was the uh, little box that goes inside it which is called the portable neutron destruct pack and it was the sort of thing uh, you very rarely see I've seen a couple in sort of since I've finished working on this on eBay uh, and they were going for sort of 40 or 50 pounds and so I've decided not to buy them because it's just too expensive but recently a friend of the channel Alex said that uh, he had one and he would lend it to me not only did he say that he had this he said he had a spare lid to it so uh, this is what he has sent to me and what we're going to do today is try and make the bottom part of this the sort of box part out of some styrene sheet so I can complete uh, this top part you see the lid sort of slips on I have the sticker for it already and that would then complete this solar hurricane project so this is what we're going to do today we're going to make a, a replacement version of this portable neutron destruct pack so this pack is actually uh, sort of different to how I remember it. I had the, this whole toy as a child and I'd remember this box being a whole lot larger. But as you can see, it's a fairly tiny box and it's a fairly simple construction. What you've got is a lid section that slides off this fairly plain box. Uh, the box has a little bit of detailing around the edge, but you can see it's not really uh, that complicated. And then it's got a couple of tabs on either side which slide into these little sort of C-shaped grooves on the lid. So I think it's certainly something that uh, should be fairly easy to uh, recreate. If you've watched the first couple of parts of uh, the Solar Hurricane restoration you'll have seen me make a complete nose cone from scratch. Now this is made out of one millimeter white styrene sheet and you can see that is actually quite a complicated shape but I was able to make that relatively easily so I am hopeful that I can make something like this which is fairly sort of uh, square and sort of solid edges. I think something like that should be uh, quite easy to do. So what I've done is I've bought myself some more styrene sheet. You can get styrene sheet in all sorts of colours. So I've got uh, two different thicknesses here. This is a two millimetre sheet of black styrene and this is some one millimetre sheet of black styrene. And I think uh, the one millimetre sheet is what I'm going to go for. Uh, you can see if we look inside the box you can see that's actually quite thick. It is about two millimetres thickness but because of this detailing what I want to do is make it a sort of a plain box out of one millimetre sheet and then add details on the outside so in the end it will have a sort of two millimetre corners and edges. I think that should work quite nicely. So I've already started doing some prep work. You can see here I've actually marked a line on this card which is uh, the right height. Uh, that's just my sort of starting point. So basically what I've done is I've sort of roughed out the uh, diagrams for making a simple box without the detailing on the outside of it and I've had to take into account the sort of the the thickness of uh, the styrene sheet because if we measure this you can see that from the top it's uh, 53 millimeters across but my measurements here show 51 because I am taking into account the fact I've got to add this thickness sort of uh, around the corners and I've done the, all of the measurements for sort of all of the sides so the first thing to do is actually just to, to construct the basic box so these drawings here I'm going to transfer onto this one millimeter styrene sheet. I'm going to cut out all the pieces so we need uh, two of these longer sides, two of the shorter sides and then this bottom panel and I'll join them all together with some plastic weld and I'm hoping at the end of it I'll have a box that looks roughly this shape but without the detailings on the outside. So uh, let's get that constructed.
so here you go this is uh, what I've made this is the sort of the inner box as I say this doesn't have any of the detailing on it uh, it's not too bad it may be a little bit on the small side it's very hard to sort of know when you're cutting if you're going to get quite sort of perfect but the overall effect I'm really happy with in fact if I put that original lid on it sort of does the job already you know I could have made this slightly wider and that would have done but I really want to recreate this detailing on it so that's the bit I'm going to do next and as you can see it's fairly sturdy this is just one millimeter styrene just with a little bit of plastic weld put on each edge uh, you can see this styrene sheet actually has a very shiny surface on one side and then a matte surface on the other side I'm trying to keep the matte surface on the outside so it has the same sort of finish as this uh, in the end I may actually give this a quick coat with uh, just some black spray paint just to sort of tidy it up but if, if I can get it sort of neat enough I won't need to which is my hope but I have a feeling I'll end up with some little sort of uh, marks on it so I will probably spray paint it but as a starting point I'm very happy with that so now let's work out how we can do this I think I'm going to try and cut this sort of intricate shape as one piece because styrene is actually pretty easy to work with and pretty easy to cut so if I can mark this out on the styrene I'll do one side first see if it works and then I can duplicate it you saw when I was actually cutting this out basically I just cut one shape out rotated it round and then sort of marked it up because all of these angles are the same on uh, both faces so it was easy enough just to do one rotate it rotate it and then you don't have to bother working out the angles each time and I'm going to hopefully do the same with that so let's get cutting for a second time With some careful cutting I've managed to make these shapes so that's the side panel and that's one of the end panels you'll have seen while I was filming that I did actually manage to snap off one of these posts but because this is styrene and uh, you can use plastic weld with it I very quickly just uh, reattach that on and as this is only going to be for decoration it will be very firmly held onto the side of this box so the actual join there doesn't need to be too strong so you can see I managed to save that one save me cutting it again so we have side panels and we have these end panels and I've sort of measured everything as carefully as I can and I've cut it as carefully as I can so I'm hoping once these are all stuck in place everything will line up these end details are exactly the same width as the end panel there's no overlap there but these side panels I've actually had to add one millimeter extra to compensate for this extra bit that we're sticking on here so these are one millimeter wider than the sort of whole of the side and I think the overall effect is going to look quite nice if I just hold that there and bring in the original one you can see we're getting the same sort of effect and by the time I either sort of paint this or put a clear coat on top we should have something that looks really quite nice so let's get all of these attached just again using plastic weld and once that's done the last thing I need to do is make these little tabs that are on either side of the box uh, but yeah let's get them all stuck on and it should look the business
here it is with those sides added and I've also added the little tabs on each uh, end as well to attach the lid. As you can see putting plastic weld on does affect the surface of the plastic so I've got these sort of lighter areas or shinier areas which is why I th I'm sort of saying I'm going to uh, spray paint this because I think that would be the only way to hide it. It's very difficult to uh, do plastic weld and not get these sort of runs and stuff because you need to put quite a bit on to make it sort of stick and join together but uh, you know that's an easy thing to fix I reckon. The overall shape I am very happy with it really does look like this original container now and you can see it's got the right sort of dimensions. I think I've got a slight bow to the size of the plastic that's probably just because it's uh, one millimeter styrene but uh, the overall effect is really very nice. Let's try the lid on. So here's the lid and that should slide onto those two tabs there. Yeah that is exactly what I wanted. It's a very uh, convincing little box. I think that does a really nice job of uh, recreating this uh, portable neutron destruct pack. Yeah I'm very happy with that. So let's go and give this a quick coat of paint. I might just try putting a clear coat on first see if that sort of evens this out. If that doesn't then I will uh, spray it with some black uh, spray and then put a clear coat on top of that. I'm not going to bother painting the inside. You will never see this. It's just going to be the outside that I'm going to coat. But yeah I'm really happy with how that's turned out. In the end just a quick spray with some clear coat has done a remarkable job of hiding all of the sort of the marks from the plastic well and you can see I've ended up with this rather nice looking box. The inside I didn't spray so that is just the sort of uh, shiny surface of the styrene sheet but the rest of it looks really quite nice. I'm very satisfied with the finish that I've got on that. It looks really very good and if we put the lid on you can see that slides on quite nicely. There we have the full box with a lid. I'm actually a lot more pleased with this than I thought I would be. I, you know, I knew I could get something that was quite close to the original box, but this really does look quite nice. So the last thing to do is to add the sticker on the top of this. And uh, when I previously have uh, shown the restoration of the Solar Hurricane, I got some replacement stickers from uh, Action Man HQ. And if I remember rightly, when I uh, sort of cut those stickers out, I put the uh, top sticker for this very carefully away. And, I think what I did was I actually put it behind the seat. So if I take out the uh, Space Ranger Action Man and take out the seat cover at the back here, hopefully, yes, there it is. There is the sticker that I need. So uh, let's get that cut out and put on the box. And here is my finished portable neutron destruct pack. It's rather a sort of a small little thing and really in all intents and purposes I didn't need it to have this sort of solar hurricane complete but I remembered having this as a child and it was just something that I wanted to have back in my collection even though most of the time it will end up sat behind the seat of the pilot there I just wanted to have one. So this recreation although it's not perfect is certainly a very passable example of uh, what it should look like and you never know one day I might find an original but until then I'm perfectly happy with having this in my collection because the rest of the Solar Hurricane isn't sort of exactly all original. I've handmade this nose cone here and these ejectable pods are not the right pods. These have been sort of modified and had bits of Lego attached to them but they do the job and they make it a very displayable piece. Now I know a lot of people would say why did I bother going to all of this effort to make this little box? I probably could have 3D printed one or maybe someone sort of cast one in resin but for me the fun is actually trying to work out how to make things like this out of bits of styrene and sort of gluing pieces together. That is what gets me sort of really creatively motivated. So there probably are simpler ways to do this. As I say, 3D printing is probably the quickest way, but would I get the same sort of enjoyment out of it? No, and that's really what's important. I've had great fun making this box and working out how to make it and get it to work. And really with toys, for me, it's all about the fun I have with them and something like this, although simple, and as I say, won't be seen by many people, I've had great fun doing it and that's the whole point of this.
this project. Now I do need to say a massive thank you to Alex who very kindly lent me uh, his uh, Destruct box so I will be returning that to him uh, with some toy polloi goodies and I do need to say a massive thank you for him uh, to giving me this spare lid that he had because I probably could have made that but it's actually been quite fun working out how to sort of make this box to attach to an original lid so uh, yeah big thank you to Alex uh, very kind of him to uh, lend this to me. Also again a big thank you to Simon who uh, gave me the original uh, Solar Hurricane which I'll put links to the original videos about this restoration so you can check out those. If you've enjoyed this video then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.